Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Nissa, Voice of Zendikar, and why you should never ever pre-order foil promos. Uh, one of the other foil promos that I pulled was Narset, and at that time her regular was $50, and her foil was I think about $80. I know it was more than $80, but that was the most I could get for it via trade, and I wanted to trade her at the time, but that exact same Narsa is now my trade binder, and yes, I did over trade for it the second time around. Narsa is 1910 median, and she is falling. She is falling. So let's say 19 bucks for a non-foil, and $43, let's just say $44 for a foil. Is he worth that much money? I don't believe so. If you do have a foil plant walker, you need to trade it this week. Her she will collapse unless she sees a lot of play. But here's the interesting part. We're moving on to modern season. So these cards are not going to be promoted as heavily as if we were going to be in standard season. In modern season means they're going to draft and play modern decks in the Pro Tour. They're not going to go ahead and play these standard decks. And without, you know, results, Nissa at 20 or 19 is very hard for me to justify the foils have kind of collapsed recently i know they started let's see they, when the pre-order started the foil was around it was a lot more looks like yeah it was around 50 dollars for a foil it has since fallen to 43 dollars and 59 cents uh tcg mids if you pull one of these at pre-release i uh, it's not even the worst case scenario selling it to, uh, if you will, selling it to your store for store credit because it will tank. Uh, it will tank very soon unless it's in a deck. Now, what I'm saying about this particular card, not a bad card, just not $20 good in my opinion. And definitely if you are on a foil version of it, there's so many other better options in my opinion than putting your money in a foil planeswalker right now for foil planeswalkers typically have a very short life cycle uh, meaning it will go plummet very within the next one week if not two weeks so if you have a foil planeswalker uh be it a nissa or a chandra right now is the time to trade them away if you have a regular planeswalker you're not going to use them Probably it's the correct play to trade them away. Nissa has to show tremendous results to be a $20 card. If you look at what else is $20, Battle for Zendikar, you have two cards over $20. You have Gideon, which has shown up as a four of in multiple decks. Any deck playing white plays four Gideon, essentially. And then the next card would be the Adrazi. Uh, it's not Kozilak, it's Ogamog, Yugamog, whatever. That card has showed up. That card is a modern playable card. Uh, Gideon, not as much. And that card is just barely over 20. So when you look at something like this, you got to see like what it's pretty. It definitely like is one of the better foils because of the um, cool little circle. But it's going to tank and there's really nothing that is going to save it uh, soon. Anyway, bye guys.